Hi friends, welcome or welcome back to part two in our fall series. Today we're going to be adding in some moodier colors, but maintaining some of those traditional elements as well. We're going to tackle a DIY or two, and it certainly wouldn't be one of my videos without a great thrift flip. So without further ado, let's get started. So the front part of our house is also a bit of an open concept plan. You walk in a very small front entry right into the living room or sitting room and our formal dining area, which we utilize as a family a lot. So I use a lot of florals in this area to add pops of color. Here I've just utilized one of my vases with five full burgundy stem leaves that I absolutely love. And I like to incorporate a lot of candlelight, both real and battery operated. So I'm adding in some antiqued brass pieces here with the Pottery Barn dupe candle again and some dark brown acorns to finish off this look. Another way that I really like to incorporate fall accents is changing my textiles. In this sitting room there are four chairs so I've added two velvety textured gold pillows and then also two kind of taupe beige throws just for a little bit of cuddle factor. Our first DIY is going to be to attempt to paint these leaves that I've had for several years that were just not a good green color for me. So I thought I would use that dabbing painting technique that you've seen me use and put on a little bit of plum over these green to incorporate with the other plum stems in the front living room. It did not work well and I was a little disappointed. So I had nothing to lose so I grabbed a can of Rust-Oleum Burgundy Satin Spray Paint and I just sprayed right over the tops of these leaves and it turned out amazing. So loving the way that those spray painted leaves turned out, I began assembling a second floral arrangement for the front area on the buffet or console. To keep that brown going, I've used this glass ribbed vase that I've had for several years and I'm incorporating some of those same Amazon stems that I use year round. And then I added in three of those spray painted leaves and I love them. You can see a little bit of variegation in the color. You get the plum and the green and they are soft. They did not get hard from the paint at all. That was a huge success. So moving on to the console table, I cleared it off and started with two coffee table books. And I had noticed that Magnolia Homes had a beautiful glass container in their fall collection. And so I pulled out a black one that I already had and simply added some cinnamon sticks to it, placed our flower arrangement, and then added this travertine bowl with four large acorns to it, just to add balance on both ends of the buffet. I did end up adding two berry stems to our floral arrangement. I thought it just added another level of dimension and texture to it. Probably a month ago, I thrifted this candle holder for $4.99 at Goodwill. It was really heavy metal and it was in the shape on the base of a branch. So I thought it'd be great for fall and I just cleaned it up and added a quick coat of black spray paint to add to my tablescape. So the first thing I'm adding to my tablescape is this large vase with some acorns in the bottom. I'm adding a hanging candle holder to it and to incorporate that burgundy on this side of the room, a ribbed pillar candle. And then this is a simple garland that I use year round. I've had for many, many years, also from Hobby Lobby, just wrapping that around and fluffing it up. And then I spray painted some more of those branches using a blackish walnut color to get that similar look that we seen on our Pottery Barn leaves earlier. And I'm just incorporating this one stem into that garland. And these are a couple of pieces that I cut off to also incorporate around the candle as well. 
You'll see that I also will add in these pieces of, they kind of remind me of dandelions, but they're seeded in a muted green again as well. Just tucking those in to add another texture and just a little bit depth and variation to this garland. And then the final pieces that I'll add are these fully wired tree stems. I had another little bush that I did not like, but these were incorporated into it. So instead of throwing the whole thing away, I just repurposed these little branch pieces. And you'll see that I tuck those in as well, again, just to give a little bit of height and depth and variation to this end of the table. And finally, adding in two muted pumpkins just to tuck up in and around there. And for the centerpiece, you guessed it, there is our thrifted candle holder. Instead of adding pillars directly, I incorporated these rocks glasses that fit perfectly in the holders. I just thought it looked really pretty to have the two variations of glass and to have candlelight all the time. I'm adding in these battery operated votives from Amazon that have timers and so at night these timers kick on I get a little bit of glow on the dining room table and then when we use the table we actually light the pillars again just adding in a few more of those acorn just to keep that consistency moving through the area and then finally I'm going to add in a black candle snuffer to utilize when we are having the pillar candles lit and for our place settings, I'm using these plastic iron look scalloped chargers that came from Hobby Lobby. And because we use this table all the time, I'm using our everyday dishes in both a bone color and in a black, just to keep it simple. Well friends, that's it. I hope you found this video inspiring and a tip or two that you could take away. So just sit back, enjoy the music, and take another look around the house. Until next time, remember, stay on the journey as we continue making our way home. Bye-bye.